Hello everyone, I'm Xyphine, the owner of TCG News, your number one place for everything card game related. This video will be showing you how to start making cards with cocktail. Getting started is the hardest and longest process, however, once you're done with the initial steps, you can start knocking out cards faster than any other program that I've ever used. Let's go ahead and jump into cocktail. If you don't have it downloaded already, go ahead and click on the link in the description below to download it. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on file new then name your project create a project folder i always name mine cocktail and i put mine in my tcg's folder then we will need to jump into google spreadsheets the link for that will also be in the description below next go ahead and start a new spreadsheet name it your tcg and then add all the parts to your card that you have starting with id first name second and then anything else you need for me i'm going to have a card type you know like magic has monster cards spell cards i think and land cards next is effect this will be the text that shows up in the effect spot in my cards. Lore is also what I call flavor text for Demi. Mythos, this will be my card elements. Some games have fire, water, etc. I have Greek, Egyptian, and Norse, which will show up as red, yellow, and blue. Addition will be if your card is first edition, second edition, etc. Now keep in mind, the first two spots are the only spots you actually need. Everything else is based on your game. For the ID spot, you're going to want to label them 1, 2, 3, 4, etc, etc. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make a test card. This way you can see how it looks when we're finally done. After that, go ahead and click share, then click copy. You're going to need this link in a little bit, so make sure you keep it copied. Jumping over to cocktail, let's go ahead and create a layout. You should see a little paper icon with an L and a star next to it. That's the new layer. Go ahead and click on that. If you have multiple types of cards you're going to be developing, make sure to give it a distinguishable name. Next, you will need to go ahead and add the width and height to your game. I'll be using make plan cards dimensions, which is 822 by 1122, depending on what you're going to be printing for your game, this is going to differ. The next step will be creating a data source. You do that by going into file, add new, data source. In the open area, go ahead and paste the link you copied from your Google Sheets document earlier into there. When you click OK, it'll take you to Google and you have to authorize the use of cocktail with the Google Sheets. And then you should see a message, received verification code, you may now close this window. This means that you're good, just go ahead and exit it and go back to cocktail. From there, you can now see your Google Sheets. Go to the left, set your ID column to ID, the name to your name, you can keep variant column empty, and now go to your layout. Here you can start to design your card. I'm going to be adding my background, then I'm going to go ahead and add a template of an already made card, since I'm copying my game over to Cocktail. What I'm doing is changing X and Y to zero, and adding the same dimensions so the image will be the exact same size as the card itself. Now, I add my card template and match it to the finished card I added earlier, so I know it's the same size. After that, I'm going to turn off the view of the fully made card, and then click on the card template, then click on the icon next to the image, click direct, and then I'm going to link it to my mythos. But if you see I don't have mythos, in order to get the mythos to show up, I'm going to have to go ahead and go back over and link my layout to the Google Sheet. Go back to the data source, then go to default front layout, then click it and set it to your actual layout that you made. Then just head back over to your layout, then I'm going to click on my card template and finally link it to mythos, which means whenever I put a different mythos in the Google Sheet, it'll automatically change it to that other template. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another image. This will be the card type. I'm going to set the dimensions the same as I have been, which is how I formatted that image for the card. Move it over to where I want and then link it to card type. The next image I'm going to be adding will be the card image itself. I'm going to set the dimensions to around the blank space of the card. That way it has a little bit of wiggle room. Then I'm just going to set the default image so I can make sure it looks right. Next I'm going to link it to image in the Google Sheets and then I'll be dragging it behind the card template itself. Next I'm setting the card name. I'm going to change the font to the actual font I use in my game, align it to the center, and then I'm going to link it to name on the Google Sheet, as well as turning the text white. I'm going to add the card type name now. The cool thing about Cocktail is even if your font doesn't have bold, Cocktail still allows the font to be bolded. Same with italics and everything else. Now time to link it to card type, the same as the icon I added earlier. Next is the card effect, which I'll link to the effect on Google Sheets, followed by flavor text, linking it to I'm also going to make the text for that italics, as well as adding the addition number now, which I'm linking to addition. I know it's a 
lot now, but this is building for the entire layout, which will make life infinitely easier in the long run, trust me. Now I'm going to go ahead and see how this all looks. I see the finish card that I added in the beginning still shows up, so what I'm going to do is go over to layout and then delete that completely, and now I'm going to go back and check it out now. You may see that the card template doesn't show up, that's because I haven't actually set anything up in Google Sheets, so let's go ahead and head over and do that now. And now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and add the actual file name to the card type, do a different one, and make a second test. Spam some keys for the effect, same thing for the lore, add the right file name for the images, do Hades and Anubis for the tests, and then do the same thing for Mythos, changing it to Greek.png and Egyptian.png, then we can hop back into Cocktail, refresh it, now you can see everything is starting to populate. I need to make a few adjustments now. I forgot to link the effect text, so let's go ahead and click on that, go to the link icon, link to, and set that to effect. And just like that, it populates automatically. Fun fact, my dog is in my office right now going ham on a new toy we just got her, so if you hear noises in the background, it's her. Now you can tell the text is too big and doesn't fully fit on the page. I can go in and change the font size manually, like I'm doing right now, or if I'd like to keep the font at 30 on most cards, what I can do is go into the Google Sheets again, create a new segment, and call it font size. From there, it'll be default to 30, which is what I have set already. However, if I put 28 on the one card, that's too large, I can then go back into Cocktail and then link the font size to my sheet font size, refresh the data source again, and you will notice it'll automatically change the font size on just that test card that I added the 28 to. The other cards stay the same normal font size of 30. Let's go ahead and make a second card to show you how easy it is now to just make new cards. I'm going to add an image to the cocktail file, copy the name of the file, and then go into the sheets, add the info I want, type out something, add more lore, paste the image name, add the mythos, and bam! I just completely made a new card by simply typing in Google Sheets. Let's jump back and refresh the source again and you will see it instantly populated the card. But oh no, if you notice the image has a giant black border under it, it's not aligned correctly. Normally you'd have to go in and individually edit all of those cards, but with Cocktail I can just go to Layout and change it in there. Make it a tad wider, drop it down a bit, realize I did a little too much, change some things and boom! I made the edit and all cards are now changed. I only have three, but if you had a hundred cards, it would edit it for all hundred cards just like it did for the three. Making hours and even days worth of work only take a few seconds. Let's do another card just to show you how quick it is again. Fill in some stuff, add and copy the file name, change the font size to 12 for some reason, and refresh and boom! Fourth card added. Dang it, I forgot something else. I forgot to add the power on the power of my cards. Let's jump back into the layout, add the text, align it to how I want it, make it look pretty, and then jump over to sheets, add another column, and call it power. Set the power I want for each card and boom! I just have to refresh it and then link the power to the new text and bam! I now have power in all my cards. It's literally that easy. Thank y'all so much, I hope this helps. If it did, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, spray your Febreze, email your college to tell them to feature us so we can go ahead and continue to help more people develop their card games. Once again, I'm Zyphine and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.